So we had a goat here today that we lanced an abscess on her. It was quite large. Sometimes I let them just burst themselves, but this one didn't seem to want to, so we helped her out a little bit. Um, sometimes, like if you're in a more controlled situation of having smaller paddocks and you don't move goats very often, it, sometimes it is wise to just lance them, clean them out, and be really clean about it. When we're out here moving paddocks so often, the, the disease transfer is pretty low. So we generally try not to worry about it unless it's quite bad, which this one was, <laughs> was getting quite big. This is infection. We just lanced a giant abscess. For those of you abscess lovers, just enjoy. Uh, is that Janice, that one? This is Janice, yes. And she has a big pimple. All right, and now usually we go through after and I'll rinse it with iodine and clean it all out. Um, ideally with a tea looking solution of iodine and water and you just kind of stick a syringe in there and squirt it through and then rinse it all out and get any of the extra junk out of there and then it kind of keeps it clean. Um, in seasons like this we need to be careful of flies so we just had some Watkins fly stuff with us today so we just lathered that all over her so hopefully that'll keep the flies off and we'll have to check in um, I might get some of that SWAT stuff that I use for my horses. It's kind of a wound care that's really, really good against flies. So we'll just keep a, keep a check on her. Um, sometimes if we are worried about the animal, we'll check a temperature, a body temperature, and make sure that the infection hasn't gone systemic. But most often they, those abscesses, they really just wall off and they're not, they're not gonna be a problem for any other part of the body. Um, but yeah, that is one thing if you can, check temperatures and then if you do have a fever then you could treat with systemic antibiotics but generally we don't because it is just kind of a capsule infection. So there's always the possibility of what's called caseous lymphadenitis or CL um, which is just a it's a disease very infectious people can get it too which is not ideal but um, and so there's always a possibility of it. We haven't actually tested yet to see if we have any. We haven't had huge issues with the abscesses, so I haven't really worried about it. I am seeing a few more, so it might be in our future to, to potentially test for some of them. Um, we do generally vaccinate for it with the Glanvax 6 vaccine. It has a vaccine in there for caseous lymphadenitis. Um, but it could be, I mean, there's lots of things that can cause abscesses too. They're out here in the brush and they're poking themselves on things and... Hey, show me your abscess. It's already burst under your ear there. Can I see it? Yeah, right there, that one. So here's all the girls. We have just trimmed up feet and we did an inventory on the J's just to make sure they were all caught up in my book. And then we just did a check inventory on all of the kids and they are all accounted for. Hey, baby. Come on, girls. You're free. Come on, babies. And the key to get any good work done is to have a good napping spot for the baby. <laughs> <laughs> 